right, Tibbs. Car support's going in. By the way, it runs. We uh, accidentally did the uh, first start. We're trying to figure out the um, starter relay system. For whatever reason, the ignition, it's not uh, kicking over, but he got it to start. I didn't even bleed the fuel system and it fired right up. So, she runs. <laughs> We, we forgot. We had to push the clutch in to start it. Cause it's not like that one. You just can't. No fucks given. <laughs> oh my god, do we feel stupid? <laughs> yeah, I feel real stupid. No, that's good. It's, I don't have to worry about it. It's done. Yes. I'm gonna prime the fuel. That, that's that's like celebrating in part by itself. <laughs> I'm looking at it. I'm looking at the diagram, and it's like. Put your interlock. I was like, oh, I know what's going on here. <laughs> we done derped. <laughs> We're trying to like, it's not getting any power at all. Never I went. totally forgot that. Yeah, exactly why I went and started. Cause you had to push the and you know what? That switch, the interlock switch was staring me right in the eye. Yeah, you're just like, <laughs> hello, buddy. Yeah, I wonder why this thing won't start. That, we figured that out. Okay, well, that was stupid. Oh my gosh, so now we're down to you. The only thing that's not working is the fucking... You have like two of them. I never used that in my other truck. Damn. Yeah, I'm grabbing right here. Uh, yeah, I don't want to put it in the truck. Again, but yeah. So we got to set it in here. Like, that's uh, stupid from happening. Now, see, like that, I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> Oh, are you That's why I left the fenders loose. Uh, I'm getting all caught in it. And this is hitting that. Not anymore. And then when I get to lift it up, it's not a fucking problem. So we're real close to getting this thing buttoned up. See, last night I. Got that little piece put on. Um, all I got left to do is to bolt down the uh, core support, and then it'll be a matter of uh, tightening up the fenders and whatnot. I have some few odds and ends I'm taking care of right now. Like I'm getting the uh, lower radiator hose done with. Um, so we're using. We had to get a new upper dodge, and then this guy here is still good. So we're using. This is the lower six nine, and uh, these will all line up. We just need an extension. To adapt the two so I got this it's a two inch uh, p outside diameter which fits into here snugly and then it fits into here snugly so when these two are put together and then clamped down we're gonna use two clamps on both sides they will get baked on and they won't come apart this is what we used for the old the six uh, five the three point no it was a four point nine uh, this is for the uh, extendable. We can't use this because it's a hot dog down a hallway and that's too big. So we just were lucky enough to have a six inch piece, a six in or a two and a two inch diameter piece that will work. So we're able to use a six nine Dodge hose or Ford hose and then the five nine, f five nine to six nine on a three nine. <laughs> All right, so we got the cooling system done. That was pretty pretty easy. I think I showed it earlier, but we got it all clamped up now. No problemo. Uh, you didn't put that clamp on right. Transfer case is full of ATF. We put two and a half uh, quarts in. I just filled it through the speedo hole because they put the uh, because it's a, a bigger transfer case. They put the extra small um, film hmm. drain plugs, whereas the transfer case from a half ton's got the giant uh, cap. No, <laughs> I mean, it's a giant plug. So I just fell it through a speedo hole. Done. Uh, two and a half bottles of ATF. Uh, Mercon 5. Or Mercron, whatever it's called. 
Transmission's full. I am going to check the level to make sure it comes out of the fill plug and make sure those are tight. Um, I fixed the 4x4 light wiring and the reverse switch is all hooked up and wired properly. Um, I got cross member bolts in now. I actually found ones that we kept from the van. Those are locked in there now. Nice big thick bolts. That's locked down. We got to reroute the speedo cable. The new one that actually came from the van that we put in the extendable is now going in the extended extendable. Um, and then I got to swap out the heater core and then button up the interior. Uh, wow, we're getting close. We're getting close to driving. We already swapped out the steering shaft. Power steering is actually not. We ran it for a little bit. I want to see what the. Uh... Oh yeah, it's low. Well. Fuel system, I mean, we, we didn't even do anything with the fuel system. We just hooked the hoses up, put a little adapter on. It primed itself. Yeah, he just fired right up, didn't even skip a beat. And then hook up the batteries. And then, uh. Doing right now, like, you got the battery bolts going to the core support, Titan? Yeah, I got the one in the tin that you had. Uh, it's probably on the hardware thing. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, we're almost done to get this thing driving. All right, so we're gonna put one of these on the post on the battery to use the spade connector with so we can just plug our cab power to this and it'll make everything a lot simpler on us. <laughs> All right, we're gonna trim our power wire down a little bit. Not too much. Wow. Hey, Jimmy. <laughs> I went to cut it and it did that to it. It just bent them over. Yeah, these things here are on their last leg. My front did any good. There's not going nowhere. I was like, it vibrates right off of here. You're like, damn it! Now we just gotta solder it on. Okay, we're just gonna do a little. Why don't we just close some doors? Because it bothers me. You wanna close some doors? We got the clutch hooked up and everything else. I think the last thing I gotta do is the heater core and then we gotta fine tune the interior and then we can go for some, some cruising. Oh, and then I gotta route the speed. Okay, well, that's right. Just remember, I had to push the clutch in to start it. You got it in on this end or is it? Huh? Was it still connected on this end? What? Speedo. Oh, I haven't done that yet. Okay. And it should be in gear. Where's that start button at? It moves. It'll move. Uh, did you, you didn't even give it any throttle. No, just clutch out. <laughs> <laughs> and it barely even missed a beat. It was just like whatever. It's got 355s. Oh, I like it. And a, and a 4.1, 4 to 1 to 4, 4 to 1, first gear. So. I, I, I like to drive. I want to drive now. <laughs> and the clutch feels way better than before, right? Yeah. It's still. It's like yeah. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. Yeah, before it was like, it was like you're stepping in a pit of Play-Doh. And then it was like... So... Oh yeah, and we gotta bleed the brakes too. We gotta do a whole brake flush too. Brakes? Why, why would we need those? I got a whole gallon of brake flood I bought for it. It was like 20 bucks. So yeah. we're gonna do all four wheels. Yeah, I should. So I've put one, two, three, four, five gallons of coolant. I'm just gonna let it settle and take the whatever's. Oh shit! Gook a book a book. I think from this point, I'm just yeah, I'm just putting water in. It just had this big. So Adam, you want to show them the trailer wiring harness? Okay, so they turned the factory connectors into this. 
So for some reason they thought they needed butt connectors on this end too. Yeah. So and then they butt connected it. And now then the extendables is right here, completely unmolested. And the only thing that's messed up is obviously just this, which you can quickly retape. Yeah, well, there's like maybe a wire that's chewed out a little bit, but it's not a big deal. Oh, that can just be taped up. Yeah, see, this is all that's on here. I mean, look, from this to this. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God that unplugs. Oh, I, I just broke that other end right off the end, because <laughs> since they backed it up into something, it was broken in. We would have to replace the connector. But we can cool. wire it right this time. Now when Adam goes backing up and, you know, trying to move out of a parking spot, people will know this big bitch is moving out of the driveway. Oh, that's awesome. That's plenty loud, I think. Oh, that is really loud. So you just hooked it right up to the reverse lights and called it a day? Yeah, I hooked it up to this reverse light. I tapped through the back of the house and taken one of their safety covers off. And then we went down there like that. Really yeah. simple wiring. I just didn't want to like, splice into here and do that. And I was like, I I pushed it through the light. Uh, there, there's a space where you could actually get the wire all the way through the housing to the other side to the positive front where the light touches. So I just went through there, got, put it right there, and done, done, done. And the pressure from the light should keep it there, so I don't have to play yeah. with it. Yeah, and I and then only you put LED lights in there now too. Everybody's like, what's going on here? He's fucking here. Yeah. That's awesome. You know, I think that 102 decibel one would have been overkill. <laughs> well, the clutch pedal is all back to normal. It's actually really nice and firm. Uh, that disengages, it mo operates smoothly just like it did in the extendable, except I'm sure fourth gear will be much happier now. <laughs> uh, let's see, I'm in the process of swapping the Speedo cable. I'm going to put the new one back in with the grommet, smash that back in there. I gotta put this up. I'm gonna start putting the dash back together while he fucks off with other stuff. Pardon the language. I'm just about ready. I'm trying to transfer our license bill over. So yeah, and then he's gotta make the, uh, we gotta fab up a little bit of a downpipe just to get it by until we get it to the exhaust shop to have them make a, a whole downpipe that'll hold up and and stuff. He wanted to test it like it was, and I was like, ah, I'm not Yeah, and then the firewall gets dirty again. Like, ah, dang it. And then the icing on the cake after we swap the bed and the bumper, I'm going to get a big fat tip for this thing. 12 inches long, 3 inch inlet, 5 inch outlet. I thought you forgot about that. Oh no, I'm just, I am waiting until the right moment to put that on. Ah, you're like, no, 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 no. Oh yeah, oh and we got to rattle the core support back to the uh, frame though. Yeah. Uh, Where's the hardware for that? So we're just uh, nitpicking away, kind of taking our time getting the interior put back together. We got the top trim piece back in. It's been off since we got the truck because uh, the window was leaking really bad. Uh, now the window doesn't leak because we got a brand new one. Ah! The dash is put back in. All the missing screws are back in. He's putting. Asshole! It's done. He's put the, he put the door panels back in with brand have new trees. Brand there. new Christmas trees. Did you use all of them? No, almost. <laughs> I wanted this side perfect. I'm glad I bought 20. I probably should have got 30 just, just for shits and giggles. I still got plenty. I think I'm just going to use these in a combination of what's left on the door to make the other one. Cool. Put the other panel on it, right? Yeah, we got this to work. The, uh, all the oil pressure gauge, all the gauges work. The oil pressure gauge works. And even though they're not accurate gauges, that oil pressure gauge on there has visibly got m it's more to the right than it was on the uh, that lemon of an engine. You're like, why do you got to make fun of the 6 knot? No. So I'm just kind of getting slowly getting our tools out. I got a whole bag of screws up and picking out of to make this complete. Um, yeah, let's slip it back together. I got a LED in there now. That's nice and bright. So that's done. I'm gonna go put this under in the uh, engine compartment. So yeah, she's coming together. The only thing that I don't know if it's working or not is the alternator. It should be charging, but I don't have a voltmeter, so we'll have to go get one. Oh, yeah.
Okay. You know what? They will work. Not even joking. They kind of work? Yeah. Maybe? <laughs> Passenger side's dripping, but I left the thing loose, so. Okay, well he's working on that. Uh, we're gonna get the gallon of brake fluid I bought and we're gonna get together and uh, freaking do the brakes. Look at the mess. <laughs> Look at the freaking mess. Oh my God. Gonna save the motherfucking babies. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Wow, that. Yeah, I got a little bit of a panel alignment to do, but we'll take care of that when we get a new core support. You know, support. some of this is all, like, like Jenny. It's all core support core related. Support. We, we, rolled, we decided to roll with this one because the other one had such severe rot. And we want to roll with the diesel radiator. We don't want to do no tiny gas I6. And it, that one was already destroyed anyway, so I don't want to buy another radiator. It was leaking, yeah. So it was cost, it was saving us money. Hey, you know what? It's not dripping transmission fluid like because it was Because she's like, earlier. wait, we got this thing. Why, why buy more stuff? Yeah. Except for the backup arm. I need yeah. it. Yeah. That's cool. I think we need to give it a bath to get that Just shit. Just because off the you motor. know now it's higher up, and I'm like, I can't see you if you're behind me. Yeah. You know, if someone came out and and and, and hit you while you're moving, this would just peel them open. The they would peel is. that car of uh, car open. Like you're a king engine. You. Well, we did that so we could service the day. I feel like why? Just go under it. <laughs> oh man, let's take a let's take a break. Yeah, we need some grub. We should probably clean up. Uh, I think we need to see if that food's done. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, my God. Hey, put all your lights on and then try and start it. <laughs> now it smokes. the alternator line it's all weird. Is it really? That's funny. Where is that? Where's that by? I don't know. Do a signal check. Keep going. Yeah. Your speedometer is actually working. I don't know how accurate it is.
So we put all LED lights in here. We got these guys right here. In that. Look, I mean, like, now it's like, oh, I got to take care of that. Light there. And that, I could see all the way back here with that other light. And then we got to replace that. So, Adam, what are we doing? Yeah. Wondering if this truck comes here a little bit often. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, we are taking this rear cover off because when we put the motor in, we kind of bent the rear cowling up in here. Yeah. We bent it all up in here, and it's rubbing against it really bad. And it's like... Brrr. Well, aside from that, my wiring harness that I put together and did not test it prior to... you. Oh god, that was almost a bug. <laughs> Prior hell? to putting this truck in, it all the coolant gauge works, the uh, obviously the injection power works, and then the uh, oil pressure gauge works. And this makes more oil pressure than the 6.9 did, way better. So we're good there. Um, cool, and, and it had no problem heating up this radiator, no problem at all. And because it's got about six gallons of coolant in it. Um, probably seven because there's some more in the engine block, but yeah. Um, I haven't even had to top it off. I went and bought a jug and then ended up taking it back because we didn't need it. And then the, yeah, yep. Now if only that vacuum pump pressure switch would have worked. That was, that's the, I think that was the only thing that was like uh, the go fuck yourself thing. That went, that went so awry. It was like, yeah, I just got this. Yeah, it's but, a disappointment. But that, it's driving really good and way better than the uh, six nine. <clears throat> would you say? Yes. Besides for the steering issues that it already had, it would. Yeah. Pretty good well, at least it. now it has power steering, but we just need to replace the links, get it, maybe get a new box for it, and uh, you know maybe we should swap the uh, extendables box over. Might want to. So that's something we're gonna have to think about. So maybe we need to harvest that before we scrap it. Um, Almost. And then it goes patink. Just for anybody who wants to know, if you have to take your rear valve cover off and you, you have a 4BT or a 6BT in a truck like this and you're using the the funky mounts that we've been using, um, you'll want to remove. You'll want to undo two injector lines and then unbolt them from the intake, and you can pull them back, and it'll let that top cover slide out um so we we messed up a gasket earlier when we were uh, goofing with this so we're just switching them one to the, one the back to the front oh, god damn it why do i have to be so fucking short <laughs> that's what she I mean, it's, it's not i'm not that i'm short it's just this truck is fucking tall yeah so we're repositioning repositioning a gasket and uh there was also a lip back there that we created putting this engine in. So I pounded that back with the uh, 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 impact extension and a big hammer and that took care of that. So that valve cover should go back in there. Oh, we did a little fixy fixy of the gasket there. We're gonna get a new one tomorrow. Um, but we fixed our issues. Um, oh, you know what? I need to tighten one thing up. That would have been a we should have got a new car thing going on there. And I didn't even tighten that down. Okay, I tighten that down. Other than that, we fixed our issues. <laughs> He's on the phone. Uh, where's my 15? Uh, of course, I put the 15 away. Damn it. Board. <sighs> all right, we're all done. Yeah, well, we got a few things to button up tomorrow, but there's things that can wait. It's drivable now. I'm going to take her home from. Get yeah. my rig back. Yeah. And then tomorrow we'll go in the exhaust shop to get a downpipe made, and then we'll have a full three-inch exhaust. Yep. And then you're going to get that ridiculous tip that I don't yep. care for, but whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll get it after the bed swap. <laughs> okay. Yeah.
too tall, could have used a few pounds. Tight pants, points, hollering now. She was a black hat beauty with big dark eyes. And points all her own, sudden way up high.